West Trains and uh, this is my second uh, local unboxing of the year and uh, well it should have been my third but uh, the Dapol Prairie got had a few problems a few issues of it uh, you might have seen from other people's uh, posts on Facebook and YouTube they've had similar issues too um, but anyway uh, we'll see what happens with that uh, when it comes back so uh, this has just come out and uh, this was announced in Backman's, uh, well, it's part of Backman's announcements last year sometime. And uh, it's a sound fitted Freightliner Class 90. And I've already got one in this livery uh, with the DCC, but not with sound in it. So um, I might, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to get rid of the other one or keep it and have a double header. But uh, I'll certainly try and do a double header for the running session on this. Might be a bit of fun. So, uh, I've got class 90, uh, number 041. I think the other one I've got, 042. So, um, yeah, I'm sure it's pretty much the same as the other loco I've got, looks-wise. Uh, same usual packaging. So, we'll just skip all that bit. I never paid that price for it either, by the way. So, I think I paid about uh, 2 dollars for it. Uh, which is pretty good for the quality of the loco. Uh, got some discounts as well right uh, so the usual instructions decoder info uh, pantograph sounds enables the sound effects of the pantograph but without the pantograph up and down movements so that's interesting uh, so we'll look at that later the other one I've got the pantograph works up and down but obviously I don't have a sound fitted model so this is uh, the next step up so we've got directional lights, um, various sounds, we just want to freeze that and take a look. We'll have a look at them later on. Uh, right, same again. For uh, fitting your extra parts, I won't be doing that at the moment. Uh, just the basic couplers for me for now. Uh, retractable buffers. Uh, balance insert. Uh, directional lights on and off so that tells you how to turn them off I presume that's manual uh, or uh, analog sorry uh, instructions there about the pantographs lubrication on the wheels that's quite handy uh, so that's where the sound decoder goes right on the top of the loco uh, removing the body that's your warranty so uh, yeah that's uh, Get on with uh, taking the loco out. Ah, nice tight fit, so it should be alright. Just tilt it gently. So there's the blanking plate and all the accessories. Uh, don't think I'll be touching them anytime soon. I just like to get them out and run them, and when they are running, you don't see too much of the detail anyway. And uh, the locos I put detail on, the amount of bits and bobs I found on the track over the years, here's where it fell off as well. Right, so it is a uh, stunning looking loco. I do like this livery. I'm not that fussed on the new Freightliner livery, to be honest. I do prefer this one. Uh, so, there's a pantograph. Got all the separately detailed parts here. Nice simple model, really, but, I mean, you can see plenty of the detail in there. And that's pretty good. Just let you know it's sound fitted. Uh come along underneath here so you can just see the detail there I don't think you'll see the writing and the focus into the camera but yeah um, I mean the handles aren't separately fitted they're all part of the mould but 
doesn't really matter. I did they put a few bits and pieces on here that normally you'd have to put on yourself. But yeah. Pretty much the same as the one I've already got. Let's try and get that in focus. That's better. Uh so yeah, let's get it on the track and uh, we'll see what these sounds are like. Okay. I've got both 90s on the track now, and um, to be honest, I didn't realise they were a slightly different livery. Uh, I assumed they were both the same, but um, I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> but, so I think this one's the racing green livery. I don't know if this is just a standard green or whether it's classed as power hole livery, I'm not too sure. Because when I've looked at different pictures, they all sort of say the same thing. Um, so anyway, this is my first loco. Uh, this is DC fitted, but no sound. This was the first model they brought out with the working pantograph. Um, so basically that's all it has. It's got the working lights, uh, working pantograph. So that was a nice feature at the time, even though I've got no overhead wires for them to work on. But, you know, I'm not bothered. Um, right, so there are some differences. As you can see, the roof here is green, whilst this is grey. Uh, the cabling here... It's like an orangey red on this loco. The springs are still like a dark red. Also, the the uh, pantograph here has like an orange tip to it, or bright red, whilst this one's just a, a plain black cable. So, um, I'm not sure whether they wear different colours for different locos, but I'll have to have a look at the real thing again. Um, hoping to uh, spot some in the next few months or so, if they're out running on the freight trains. Um, the bogeys... Look at the same colour, or very similar. Just a very few, few slight differences, like here and here. I also think they're black on this loco. Um, but yeah, so um, this one, like I say, uh, we move so loco 90. Uh, it's literally just got working lights, front and back, and the working pantograph. So we move on to our new loco now. So again, Working lights, try them. And change direction, for reverse. Hopefully you should be able to see that. Okay, so let's start her up. Right, so uh, we've got number two, which is Bray. Number three, we have uh, a low horn. Number four, two-tone horn. Uh, number five, park and brake. And number six, the same as the other model. We have the pantograph, so that should work the sound as well. And six again to retract it. I've got to point out there's two clips to hold the pantograph in, so you've got to disconnect them first before you start operating it. I made the mistake with this one, uh, of doing that before I read the instructions. Right, okay. So let's just have a little look. We've got the squeal sounds. We'll see that when it's running. Um, windscreen wipers. I'm not sure you'd actually hear that as a train passes by, but <laughs> right. Guard's whistle. Um, let's have a look. So we've got um, 12, which is pantograph up and down, but it's just the sounds only. Um, Got day and night mode for the lights. Right, cab lights, 15. Let's see what they're like. That's good, isn't it? Right, change direction. We switch over. Okay, coupling up. Sound, uncoupling. Um, so there's various other things you can do. I don't want to go through them all. Uh, you can pause it at the point where I showed the sounds, uh, sound sheet. And uh, take a look for yourself. Right, so what I'm going to do now is uh, set up a train. We're going to see this one running. 
and then uh, I'll try and do a double header if I can get the two of them to work together and uh, see what that's like. So uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I've uh, given the loco a run in. It's had a good 15 minutes in either direction. Um, it's still a little bit jumpy at the slower speeds, but hoping it improves over time. I know how smooth my other Class 90 is, so it should be uh, as good. The only other thing as well is this pantograph is a bit higher than the other loco, so I'm not sure yet if there's a way of adjusting that, because it, I've had to take my foot bridge off because this actually catches on it. I think realistically it should be around here somewhere so uh, I'll have to have a little look into that see if we can do anything about it anyway uh, let's take it for a run I'll uh, show a few clips of this running and uh, we'll try and get the two of them running together I'll see if I can sort the speed settings out to the match okay let's uh, see how she does
right uh i've uh, given it a run round um hope you enjoyed the running session uh i never really said much about the actual loco uh there was 50 of them built uh between 1987 and 1990 um i think just over half are still in service uh they keep swapping and changing so i'm not sure what what's entirely accurate with them but there's only db cargo and freightliner that uh, used them for mainline freight duties. Uh, the only passenger work they see now is um, LSL, uh, Locomotive Services Limiters, have two in the intercity livery, I believe. I haven't uh, managed to catch them yet running, um, hopefully one day soon. And uh, But yeah, they're the only two running, pulling um, passenger trains for special tra uh, excursions and so on. Uh, so yeah, I think the Freightliner have purchased more 90s to replace the 86s. So um, hopefully I'll have some on film. I've shown a few clips of the DB Schenker uh, 90s that I've filmed. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got any Freightliner ones yet. But yeah, overall, uh, very nice uh, loco. Um, I would say for the sound, it's great. Slower speeds, like moving out of a maybe a TMD or moving on to the main line. When it's actually running, you barely notice there's any sound in the loco, I suppose. That's why you're right for the real thing, I suppose. Um, so, there's not real benefit in having the sound if you're just going to run locos um, at high speeds anyway, because you hear the sound of the wagons over the loco. Um, that's the only thing. Uh, overall, though, it's nice loco. I think I am edging towards preferring this livery but um it's a nice little contrast having two slightly different to each other i still haven't quite got them working together properly i don't know why i've changed the speed settings so they're the same but they're still a bit jumpy this loco is still a touch faster than this loco so um i'll have to have a spend the day playing around with them learning how to do it the only locos i've managed to successfully run as a consist is the backman class 20s and the Helgen class 33s. Other than that, I always end up with derailments and problems. So, um, but yeah, this loco, summary up, uh, runs well, uh, doesn't derail, uh, doesn't stall on points. Very good runner. It's not as smooth as the other one at really slow speeds, but that might get better in time. It's only had a run in so far and a little run around the layout, so we'll see how that gets on. And uh, no doubt you'll see it on the next running session video. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think of the Loco. Are you going to get one? Um, and thanks for watching. Uh, check out my Facebook page. Like, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.